proud to have you as our strategic partner and your support for all our efforts and uh, promotional uh, initiatives is one of the most important success factors that we depend on. And today's gathering, and today's gathering, and the aim of uh, today's gathering is uh, to unify the efforts to promote the way real estate globally uh, through uh, invest in the Dubai real estate uh, platform. And this, uh, Dawood, he will talk a little bit about the initiative. And uh, Dawood, you have to talk. Thank you very much, uh, Paul. And uh, this is the first uh, meeting for the best uh, Dubai real estate. And uh, as the excellency is not mentioned, that we would love to have uh, all the real estate uh, developers and agents uh, as part of this uh, initiative, which is invested in one real estate. And uh, the gathering today is to uh, exchange ideas and views on how to basically promote uh, the wide real estate locally and internationally in an innovative way by sharing your experience and your thoughts. So we will leave the floor to all of our uh, guests here to really share their ideas. I think uh, my wife has uh, we will start with my wife. Well, the best part of all this the success of the body is being coming from continuing from the design leadership vision. Uh, uh, for the real estate one, uh, guidance and decision of uh, his excellency to found what it and we have uh, leading our team and that department uh, to participate with you guys uh, to make sure the continuity of the business uh, here at the wide and succeeding more and more. Uh, I would like to thank you personally for being here in this uh, role because this is as a confidence and a hope that you believe in the world real estate market and you'll be one of its best. Uh, during the pandemic, uh, everybody was just panic and wondering what's going to happen. We saw how UAE leadership acted and gave comfort to everybody in the UAE, local residents, even people at home, uh, was uh, all not in the UAE. They gave them confidence how UAE is dealing with the pandemic. And alhamdulillah, we all witnessed uh, how we survived through the difficult time pandemic. And then the department, uh, our leadership ensured that the continuity of business is there. And nobody is afraid about this ownership, about this data, about this transaction. And that's why that department team was every day working from distance, from home, to make sure that our services were reached to everybody within the, the sector. And I think most of you have witnessed that the continuity of business was there, especially in an office, and everybody in this place been working and performing work for the interest of the investor. Seeing that, the numbers that the uh, promotion center will share with you, and you may see at your industry, that the kind of that number is promising. It's not like the fourth pandemic, but it's not uh, Zero transaction or zero open sale or anything. Uh, yeah, the indication of, of the number that shown are uh, people still want to invest, people still want to move to beautiful places in the uh, world, and people are trusting the infrastructure of the world, not only the hard infrastructure, but also the soft infrastructure. If everybody is connected to the department system. So, the uh, virus also on the platform of the uh, wide and department staff smart systems. The uh, virus are leading on the wide and the future of the world. And the report will show you that in 2019, many people will think that there is more new development is coming in the wide. In fact, we do have 70 projects already launched in 2019. Also, 2020 came and people said, Nobody will launch new projects. We're already up to date. We have more than 
2017 project for the whole of Iran in 2020. So that means people believe in this, believe in the future of the city and the rewards that they are getting. Uh, TMP uh, initiatives that we launched by the promotion center with uh, cooperation with Sarah Wood. These are all the future of the world. If you, if you will call it 3.2, 4.0, 5.0, whatever. But this is what we need to the cooperation of everybody to go and market it with the best standard. Nobody can market the world in the best standard in the face of the world more than you have. As a developer, as a broker, or as a bank financial institute. Because you know the hard work is being put here by yourself. To promote it to the international investor, through new technologies, I think this is the success of the new growth and the new camera for the buying and state market. Slowly, I believe the investor is becoming more wiser, more mature, as our systems here in the world. And everybody is behind the information. As long as the information is available for the investor, he will take high decisions. And the buying is working for that provides the information for everybody. And the number will show that anybody who believes in the world, in the city, in the real estate sector, is getting this reward. Yes, and sometimes we get that because this is the economy consulted, but at the end of the day, whatever the world promised in terms of infrastructure, in terms of ease of doing business, in terms of communication, data, it's all the reality and it's there. Then it will be a decision of the investor to make for doing the homework and knowing how much you will get at the end or how much you will enjoy the city. The pandemic has shown us that a lot of people took a decision to invest in the world in the pandemic time because they found the good opportunity, a better product, and a affordable price. All combined in the pandemic time and they start investing in the world. I think the data is sharing, uh, showing that how many new investors, the first one, they are investing in the world in the pandemic time, which is a good sign that people trust the city and they trust the system. Inshallah, by your effort, guidance of the promotion center, one of the team, Inshallah, we will succeed in promoting the sector more and more, and the one vision, which is Dubai, the care for all. Thank you very much. Sorry, good morning, good morning to everyone. Uh, let me start by saying that uh, I feel blessed and proud that uh, 16 years ago I chose the right to be my city. And uh, I don't think uh, we, any one of us who has lived in Dubai can regret being part of this great city. Uh, from my side, though, I, I think, uh, first of all, uh, thanks for this uh, platform. This is, I think, uh, from the need of the art to create such platforms and uh, create dialogues to move the market forward. And like what you rightly said, Mr. you know, it's, it's not just about the bike as of now, but it's about the future of the bike, future of the city. And when we look at that, I think uh, there are two things which I feel are uh, really required. One, I, I, before pandemic, of course, I used to travel a lot from the east to the west. And I realized that people still do not know completely about Dubai. And we need to appreciate and escalate the promotion of Dubai, the great soft infrastructure that exists in Dubai. Our infrastructure, people know, yes, there is Burj Al Arab and Burj Khalifa, and uh, there are biggest malls and the busiest airport and everything. But when, you, when it comes to the soft infrastructure, I think people are still unaware of the great opportunity that exists in Dubai, the safety of investment, the liberal environment that exists in Dubai. And I think the world needs to know uh, what Dubai is today in terms of the soft infrastructure. Having said that, I think uh, we cannot just uh, uh, you know link to uh, how Dubai can attract investors and investments in today's time. I think uh, there is no doubt that anyone who knows Dubai completely and has money will come to Dubai. There is no doubt about that because there are enough reasons. But are those reasons enough to take us forward? Uh, that is where I think we all can participate and show 
some uh, uh, commitment from our sides. Uh, there's one point from my side, uh, you know, that I would like to bring forward is that in this current situation, uh, if there is a relook at the regulatory framework and the financial sector, I think it will help the market bounce back because worldwide, globally, when the market suffers, when the economy suffers, and it is not about Dubai, people know more about Dubai because Dubai is a popular city. So if someone says that, uh, uh, you know, uh, an unknown city is suffering, no one could even bother reading that news. But you like to read the, the news because Dubai is popular. Dubai, everyone wants to know more about Dubai. Uh, I think when we look at the global economic situation where the market suffers, there's one thing that always comes from uh, the regulator side and the banking sector side. If you look at uh, relaxing the regulation a little bit, and reforming the financial sector, it will make a huge impact going forward. Endless opportunities are there in Dubai. There is no doubt that Dubai is not one of the best. I think Dubai is the best infrastructure across the world. Where in this world you can drive 50 kilometers inside the desert and you will see the highway, the roads, the networks, everything is ready. So we are ready for the future. I think we need to look at the, uh, the regulatory framework for the future, not for the current, and also the banking sector, which can make a huge impact in attracting more investments, especially when you talk about the current situation before pandemic. Dubai people knew that Dubai had the best infrastructure, everything, but people used to think Dubai might not be able to handle the healthcare system as efficiently. But the pandemic proved that not only in terms of banking, real estate, production, any industry, also in terms of public health care, Dubai has been one of the best across the world. I mean, for the first cities to bounce back from economic recession or a pandemic, Dubai has always been there. And I think we need to let the world know what Dubai is in terms of soft infrastructure, these great opportunities, and future, inshallah, we'll always be on Dubai. Thank you for having us. Uh, you are always uh, a backbone support for all the developers and all the residents of Dubai and the investors. Uh, today, I start by uh, saying that at Dubai Investment, we never doubted, we don't doubt, and we will never doubt the capabilities of Dubai Land Department, Dubai Energy. We are grateful and thankful for all the new rules, procedures, regulations that you are almost enhanced the market with. On a personal level, I've been a resident in Dubai for 20 years. I'm an investor in Dubai, more than one asset. And I am more confident than ever after this pandemic and what the government has done and the leadership of UAE. During this difficult stage, it has been proven they have managed it in an excellent way. Thank you. Uh, thank you, and, uh, and thank you for including uh, myself in the first two minutes to see Steve Surprise Um I think I'd like to start uh, by saying I think as a developer, um, uh, the thing that we can do most to contribute to promoting the buy, of course, the way we design, the way we treat our, our properties internationally. And I know we, at, at the first group we, we do that uh, we invest a great deal of time and resources in ensuring that we go to the different markets uh, for us, includes uh, most markets, CIS, Africa, uh, South Asia, uh, Mina, uh, and, and, and more recently Asia. And um, I think the most important thing is when you sit down with your teams uh, is that it's promote to buy first. Uh, that's how we be successful. Um, and uh, it's the, one of the biggest, if not the biggest, brands in the world. Uh, and um, if you do that, um, you'll find that your passion area and your success in advertising and marketing will be better. And it also accomplishes the fact that you, you really have to sell the bar in order to be able to promote uh, your products here to the international investors. So I would, I, would, I would say that we can spend more time on, on collaborating and developing ideas in which we can do that. We're not really, uh, it's a big world out there. It's not about competition, it's about collaboration. Um, and um, I would also say, um, you know, Marwan's point on, on the pandemic, uh, an extremely important one. Um, 
I, I am very, very uh, proud to be a part of this uh, industry and, and Dubai in general in the way that um, we have all risen to the occasion uh, facing a worldwide crisis. Uh, and, um, and basically, uh, I believe that the hard decisions that were taken and the way in which policies and procedures were executed um, is going to make us all as businesses and individuals stronger and more resilient going forward. Um, uh, so so I, I believe that the future is very, very bright. I believe that we have a great opportunity uh, to collaborate this group and outside this group uh, in order to um, provide uh, a bigger bigger and, and uh, more well known and, and appreciated brand in the case. Good morning, everyone. Thank you for having uh, Moshe in this uh, work meeting. I have the privilege of working in a lot of different countries. I work in the US, I work in the UK, I work in my home country, Pakistan, and I work in Dubai for the last 15 years. My thought process is very simple. This is one of the best places to work and live. This is one of the best places to invest in consumer real estate. Why? You've got fantastic assets. You've got a very, very proactive regulator who listens to you. You've got the financial sector, which is open to do business with you. When I go and I meet people all over the world and I talk to investors, what I get from them is they don't know and what do I mean by that? It's very simple. They don't know what is ownership, right? They don't know the regulatory framework around the whole world. They don't know how volatile the market will be, and they don't know how safe their investments are going to be. Let me give you an example. I was talking to a South Korean investor two and a half, three months ago. Great asset, we're talking about them coming in and investing in this asset, and they want to do it. But they don't understand the market, and that is the issue. So, my humble request we have the perfect platform to get the investors in. We need to educate them. We need to create jobs, of course, and go back to South Korea. Where you have a representation from the land department, you get the UAE ambassadors involved, you get the banks, valuation companies, developers, people from it. You go and explain to them what the platform is all about and why it is conducive for us to come in into the light and do an investment as far as we can. So, number one. Number two. What we need to do is look at the key companies that are looking to invest out there and go and target the government. Only when the government believes in the product, we will be performing. And after that, we need to look at the southern world funds of those countries, the large institutional investors, and henceforth. When we do that, these people will come. When Malaysia comes, Indonesia will come, but Indonesia will come, the rest of Asia will come. So that is what we need to do. Once we educate these people, they will not believe the platform that is available to them. Look at the yields we have on the Resi side. The average, we still averaging close to 5%. If you go to the UK, if you can get two to a quarter percent, you're a laughing person. What we need to do is market this and make them back to it. So that's my basic request. Thank you, and thank you for having us in this uh, meeting. Uh, first, I can say I was lucky to be in the right time, the right place. I found it right in 2002, they opened the three of And we were doing this job for generations, so I started here my journey. If I want to talk about invest, uh, it's a very nice point, so it's not much left for me. And we need to invest what money cannot buy. Money cannot buy safety. Money 
Mr. Jumad, have you done the ability to deliver that? Thank you. 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 Thank you.